Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on the Sony A7R4 in particular. So all the Sony cameras pretty much work the same as far as updating the firmware. It's not that difficult, but I still just wanted to walk you through the process and just make it that much easier for those that just like to follow along as opposed to read the instructions online, which are often confusing. So let's just get right into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check to see what version firmware you have on your camera. And that's very easy. You just go into the setup area and then you look for version. And right now you can see mine is at version 1.0 on the A7R4. And the current version for the update is version 1.1. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to go to this website address here to download the new firmware, sony.com slash electronics slash support. And once you get in there, you can click into this search area here. And in my case, I'm gonna type in A7R, and you can see here it comes up with the model number, which is actually ILCE-7RM4. So it might be a little hard to find your model number just because of the way that Sony you know, lists them like this, but you can always go down here and go to cameras and camcorders and stuff like that and find your model that way. I just prefer using this search. So I'm gonna select this option here, and this will bring you into the page where you can get all the stuff in, you know, related to whatever your device is, whether it's a camera or some other product. And there's a lot of stuff. This is where all the manuals are. You got question and answers, downloads and so forth. We're gonna go into the downloads area in this case, because we're looking for the firmware update. And here we are in downloads. So notice here you have two different downloads. You have the Macintosh version and the Windows version. Now I'm using a Macintosh, so I'm gonna to have to select the Mac version, but the process is basically the same, no matter what system you're using. So let me just click here into the Macintosh, and then if you scroll down, it'll give you all this information. You have about the download, benefits and improvements. So right up here, you could notice on the top, there is a download button. So I'm just gonna click download. And it's got the license agreement and all that. If you wanna read all that stuff, I am uh, not gonna bother. And it wants you to create an account. Oh, I don't wanna do that. Here we go, download without creating account. I'm just gonna click that link right there. All right, so you can see down here on the bottom, it is downloading. It's gonna take a minute or two just to download. So I will pick this up in a second once the software completes. All right, so by default, the software is gonna to download to your downloads folder, but I actually downloaded mine to the desktop. So I am just gonna double click the file right here and you can see it says update ILCE 7RM4. Double click that and that should start the program. And here it is. And then we have update setting tool app resources so i'm just going to click on the update setting tool app this app is downloaded to, from the internet blah 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 i'm just going to click open i'm going to have to put my password in there i'm going to click ok ok and click ok again check security and privacy settings Okay, so what I had to do, I had to hit unlock, and now I can allow this option here. That's what I needed to do. And now I'm just gonna click allow. So now the Sony software has been allowed in the security settings. So now when I click okay, it should work. See, now it works. All right, so that was the little trick there that'll hang you up. And I would imagine Windows is gonna do the same crap to you. So you're gonna have to find you know, how to do that. Just navigate into there. It actually brought it up for me here on my Macintosh, but it was still a little tricky because I forgot that I had to use, I had to unlock the uh, that little lock there on the le bottom left. So now I'm gonna connect the camera to the computer with the USB cable, and I have the camera set to mass storage, like it suggests in the instructions, as you can see here. So now I'm just gonna click the OK button, and it would like to access files on your desktop folder, OK. All right, it's an app downloaded from the internet. I'm mean, sure you wanna open it. Yes, open. So now we have the uh, system software updater is ready to go. Connect the camera and the computer, turn on the camera, select USB connection, 
from the menu and verify that the connection me method is set to mass storage. I already verified that. Connect the camera to the computer with the USB cable. I already did that as well. Click the next button when your connection has been made. All right, so I'm good to go. I did everything here in the steps and I'm just gonna click next. Okay, verify the version of the update information on the bottom left hand corner of the screen and that is correct. You could see the current version is 1.00 and the version after the update is gonna be 1.10. So I will click next. All right, it's automatically reset the camera step. Right now you can see this little green bar on the bottom that's gonna progress along as the update goes. And it's gonna take about probably 30 minutes or so. So I will let you know how long this takes, but I'm just gonna stop my screen recording for the moment and I will pick this up as soon as this completes. All right, so the whole process took about 25 minutes, I would say. It actually says 15 minutes. I just went and looked again quickly, but it took a little bit longer than that, so not a big deal. So I'm just gonna click Finish. So now I'm just gonna turn the camera back on and check it out, make sure it says that the new firmware updated. That's pretty much it, it's really not that hard. I hope you got something out of this video and catch up with you later.